What's up guys, in this scripting tutorial I'm going to be showing you and teaching you guys about variables in Roblox Studio. So let's get right into that by opening up the script that we have in server script service. We can get rid of this print statement right here and let's start off with variables. So you may be wondering what a variable is. Now a variable is basically a container or an empty box sort of that can hold any sort of value or instance inside of it. We use it to reference data and a ton of other things. So how we use a variable is we start off with a keyword local. I'm going to get into this into a future episode of what a local versus a global variable is. But right now we're just going to be learning about local variables because that is the basic variable type. Anyways, a variable takes two different things. It takes a name and it takes a value. So basically, we're going to write a name for our variable right here. I'm just going to name it to my variable. And there are some things that you need to keep in mind about variables. First off, you cannot start the name of your variable with a number like one, two, three, or even one. It doesn't work like that. However, you can put numbers at the end and even anywhere throughout your variable. It's just that they cannot start with a number. You can start with, you can start the variable with an underscore, however you can't use a dash, otherwise that won't work. I don't think you can use pretty much any other special character here. Variables are case sensitive, which means that lowercase my variable right here is different from uppercase my variable right here. So these are two completely different variables, even though they share the same name, they just have different capitalizations. Now, this is where it brings us to camel case and pascal case. This right here is pascal case, whereas this is camel case. Camel case means that the first letter of the first word is lowercase, but every subsequent word in the variable name is the first letter of that word, I mean, is capitalized. So the my word is going to be lowercase, whereas the variable is going to have the first letter capitalized. And now I'll repeat for every other word. So we can keep on going with that. We just pretty much just use a capital letter at the start of every word other than the first word. Pascal case starts off with a uppercase letter right here as the first word. And it keeps going through that with every single word. It's pretty much the opposite of camel case, so instead of using lowercase, it uses uppercase. And that's about it. It doesn't really matter whether you choose camel case or pascal case. However, it's really just a matter of preference, and it's good to know which one you're going to use before you start getting into scripting all too much. Anyways, I'm just going to delete this variable, and we're going to be using something called an assignment operator. In the last episode, we talked about arithmetic operators, which were the plus sign, minus sign, asterisk, we got the division sign, the percent sign, all these things. However, an assignment operator is the equal sign because we are assigning something, which is going to be a value or an instance to the my variable name right here. So we can put, let's put a string here, which is just two quotation marks as we learned from our print statements and we can say hello world inside of the string. So what this variable has now become is that my variable is now equal to hello world. And we can test this by writing out print parentheses and then my variable. And if we were to click on this little drop down menu, click on run and then open up the view tab and then go down to the output, you can see that hello world was printed inside of our script here because my variable is equal to hello world. But now we aren't limited to just strings inside of our variables. There are all sorts of different data types that Roblox uses, and I'm gonna explain what the first few are. In order to properly explain what these are, I'm gonna get rid of this print statement. I'm gonna rename this variable to my string. So this right here, the quotation marks on the end and the words inside of here, this is called a string. It's made up of letters and words, and if you wanted to, you could put numbers in here, but ultimately it's pretty much just going to be letters. After that, we have local my number, and you guessed it, this is going to be a number. You can have one, two, three, four in here, and this can be any number that you want to, including what we call floats or numbers, as you might have heard somewhere else, where it's pretty much just a number with a decimal point. So we can do 1.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, any of these different things. After that, we have local 
my boolean. So you may have heard this as something called a bool before, a bool value, but the main word is actually called boolean. And what this is, it's a value of either true or false. So it can either be true or false. There is no in between. There is no anything else. It is just true or it is false. Let me write these down. So this is a Boolean data type. This one is a number data type. And this one is a string data type. And I'll set this to true. After that, the fourth main one that we use is called nil. We're gonna say local my we can just write variable for this will be equal to nil. So what nil is, is it represents the absence of anything in the absence of a variable or a value. Nil does not equal to zero, as you may have heard somewhere, but that is completely false. Nil means nothing. That's what it is. It does not mean zero because zero is a number, whereas nothing is just completely nothing. And there are two different ways to write out a nil variable. The first one is where we set the variables value to nil, or we can just leave it empty like this with no assignment operator or anything. And this will just make sure that's an empty variable with nothing inside of it. And so this is the nil data type. You can test out all of these by printing out my string, print my number, print my boolean and print my variable and you can print all of these things and you may notice a little line under the my variable variable and that's because it doesn't actually have anything inside of it because it's nothing so let's click on run and you can see in the output it will print out all four of our different values here now there's one more thing i want to show you guys and that is called string concatenation what it is is basically joining a string and a variable together or multiple strings together in that case. So we can write print a string right here. And then how we concatenate something is we use two dots right next to each other, two periods, and then we put a space and then more quotation marks. And then we can put anything inside of these two quotation marks. So our string right here is already equal to hello world. So we can say hello viewers or something like that. You can put anything you want to inside of here, or I'm gonna put subscribe, something like this. And let's click run and see what happens. So as you can see, it printed out two different strings right here, our subscribe and our hello world. But you'll notice that they're kind of smooshed together and there's a way to fix this. So what we wanna do is we can either put a space before our subscribe right here, and that will add a space in between these words, or we can add two more dots right here, and in between them, we put a space inside of two quotation marks right here. And this is basically just going to put an empty space in between the my string variable and the subscribe word right here. And now if we run the game, you can see that these words are separated. And so that is a pretty easy and cool way to concatenate, spelled like this, strings just like this. So that is string concatenation, and these are variables, local variables. And we're gonna be explaining scope and global variables over time throughout the scripting series. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.